Recently, Polygon Mumbai test network is removed from all the REC endpoint provider. If you talk about Infura, Acmele, Acmeren, all of those providers have removed the Polygon Mumbai RPC endpoint. That means that if you have deployed any contract, any project to Polygon Mumbai test network, you're not able to fetch the information and display in your DAP. Because Polygon Mumbai have made the changes recently in the test network, you can still interact with the Polygon Mumbai. But if you want to get the data, you cannot able to do that because they have launched another test network called AMOI, Amoy Test. So you can simply migrate your contract to this test network and you get able to deploy and fetch all this information. So that's all I'm going to talk about in this video that what are the options you have to deploy the contract and you can literally deploy your contract to this network for absolutely free because you all know that if you really want to deploy the contract to the test network, you need to have some real fun in your main account. So if you go with Ethereum, Optimum, Arbitrum, Base, Stake and this is the Polygon. So if you want to deploy your contract to any one of this network, you need to have minimum fund this fund in your main account then you can able to call for a faucet. So I'll show you that how you can get a free faucet for this particular anomaly. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. So you can easily able to deploy your contract and test. So this is the project. This is the Pro NFT Market Plus project, which I have deployed on the Polygon Mumbai. But right now it's not working because the RPC endpoint we have used, like we have used Acmele, PC endpoint we have used from the Acmele, it's not working because they have removed. And I also show you in this particular video that I got a mail and they have given me all the information. But if we come back with the Infura, it's the same case with the Infura. If I go to the two here, we have the Polygon and here you will find the list of network which I can connect. So if I check the Polygon, the Mumbai is over and this is the only one I have. So this is the network where I'm going to deploy my contract so I can easily able to keep uploading and testing my contract. And if you talk about this ARPC providers, they have also removed their RPC endpoint to the this one, Mumbai. So if you have deployed your contract on Mumbai, you're not able to work around it. You're not going to get the data and your contract and that will not work. So you have to simply migrate your contract and you have to redeploy your contract to this particular network, which we go to do it in this video. If I come back to the MetaMask, you might have got the same error. You can see because the Mumbai is removed and it's saying that this chain ID is going to fetch the RPC. So we're not able to do that, but I have also done the configuration for this particular network, the new Mumbai test network. You can literally call whatever you want. I'm going to simply remove this to Polygon and, and we'll, yeah, that's that's good. I'm going to simply click on the save. I'll show you how you can do all of this update and how you can simply provide that. So let me take you one step at a time. So here it's going to update. So just wait for a second. It will automatically update. So I'm going to simply close this one and I'm going to show you all the process that how you have to deploy a contract, how you can add the con, add the network in your MetaMask and so it will work fine. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take you to my code. Uh, this is the project which we have built in Pro NFT Marketplace. So if I take you back here, so this is the course which we have built. I hope you guys have followed it. A lot of students have taken. You will master complete solidity programming language. You're going to build one of the biggest project. So I must recommend you to watch the video and that you will understand everything that what exactly you are building. So come back here and I have done all the update because I also update all the tools and technology we have used as per the time passes. So here we have used Infura and this we have used Pinata and I have done some major changes. So this is the one which we have. And if I take you back to the hard config file, here we have deployed our contract previously to the Polygon Mumbai, but this will not work. This will not work. So first thing I have to do the changes in the RPC endpoint in my project. And so we can interact and we can redeploy our contract. So first thing we have to do the setup in our MetaMask. Just click on my MetaMask and I have to reconfigure my MetaMask network. So let me show you from beginning. So what I'm going to do is this is the Mumbai and this is the anomaly. So I'm going to simply remove this one. I'm going to remove this one so I can show you everything from beginning. So the network is successfully removed from my, you can see it's removed and we have switched back to the Mumbai. So that's the first thing. In your case, you will not have this particular network in your MetaMask, so you have to add it manually. So you can do one thing, you can simply click here and you have to simply go back to the add network. It will take you here and you can come back to the network section and you have to click on this add network. It will take you here, click on this add manual network and here you have to provide all of this detail. So I'm going to provide you this link in that they have given all the information that how you can add the network in your MetaMask and configure manually. So this is the article, which I will also link in the description but you have to add this information. So this is the information you have to add. I'll also show you that how you can get a free faucet so you can test your contract and deploy it to this particular network. So this is the one, I'm going to simply copy this. This is the network name I want to give. You can call it whatever you want. So I'll go with this one. Then I can come back here. Then I have to get the RPC endpoint. So this is the RPC endpoint. You can use the RPC endpoint which you get from here or you can get from the this Acme or you can get from the Infura. But I'll go with the this one because all of these are quite similar. So I'll go and come back here and I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to simply provide here. So this is the RPC endpoint. Now you have to get the chain ID. So this is the chain ID 8002. Come back here, paste the chain ID. Then you have to paste the symbol. Copy, 
paste and this is the explorer you have, you have to provide so when the transaction will complete it will take you to this particular block explorer where you can able to find all the details about your transaction so once you're done with that so you can see we are not having any issue all you have to do is to simply click on the save and it's going to save the network and you can simply click on the switch and you're going to simply switch the network to that one so i already have this much fun in this network but i will show you how you can get that if you don't have the fun so this is the first step you have to add the network now you have to come back to the article and this is the url where you have to go for set polygon technology click on here it will take you to this particular platform because if you go with the Acmele faucet provider, they want you to have a real fund in your address. So if I want to get some faucet for this particular network, I need to have some real Matty. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to include my real account into my test because I don't want to expose my private credential. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this Acmele provider for getting the faucet. If you have fund, you can simply paste to address and you can get it. But I'm going to use this one. This one. So from here, make sure you have to do two things. First, you have to connect with Discord server. So I'm already connected with the Discord server and I've already joined their invitation so I can easily able to get the free faucet. But when you will come to this particular, here you, they will ask you to connect with the Discord server. So when you will click on connect, it will take you to the next page There you have to click on this accept invitation and you will be joined. After that, you will be re redirected to here. Simply so reload the page, they will ask you one more time to click on the Discord and now you will get the option to get into the Discord server. So once you join the Discord server successfully, after that you can come back here and reload and you have to provide the information about your wallet address and you can click on submit. Okay, so make sure to switch the network to this because this is what we want. You have to keep it this matic and here you have to provide your address. So I'll come back here, copy this and I can go back to this and I'm going to simply paste here and I'll click on the submit. Here it's going to send me to confirm and you will see the balance will reflect in my metamask. And you can see the transaction failed because just now in the morning I have transferred four Matty, 0 0.2 Matty, two times. That's why the balance is reflecting and I cannot transfer more than one in 24 hours. So in your case, the balance will reflect in your MetaMask. So I already have it. So this is the way you have to get the free faucet in your account. Once you have that free faucet, now the most of the things are done. So what you have done, you have updated the network in your MetaMask. You have got the faucet. Now you have to come back to the code and here you have to simply change the RPC endpoint. So I'm going to use this different RPC endpoint. So I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to use this one to deploy. So first thing I have to replace. And you have to do the same thing in all the project we have built on our channel. So if I come back to the author side here, you will find we have tons of project we have built here. Tons of project. If you come back to the blockchain core here, you will find all the project you have we have on the channel. That's all you will find here. And literally you can follow the exact step to deploy the contract to this particular network. So we have this one, we have this crowdfunding, supply chain, chat application, decentralized. So we have all of this project. And this is the exact step you have to follow. Like the way I have explained in this video that how you can deploy to the Polygon Mumbai, all you have to do is to change instead of Polygon Mumbai to this particular network in the RPC endpoint and all the information in the MetaMask and it will work actually fine. Got it? Now come back here. So I have changed the RPC endpoint here. Now I have to change my private key as well. So I'll come back in my MetaMask, go here and I will say account details, show private key, I have to pass my password and I have to press it hold to get my private key. So I'm going to hide it. So simply copy and that's what you have to provide here. So this is my private key, but you have to paste your private key. So these are the changes you have to do in the hardened config file. Once you're done with that, save it and close this one. Now I'm going to do one more changes in our pro NFT marketplace project because I'm deploying my contract to the Polygon AMOI, MOI network. So I have done the configuration of the network that my application can only interact in Polygon Mumbai in the last video. In this, in this video, I have show you that how you can configure the specific network in your application. So this is the video in which I've explained that how you can configure a specific network. So in this, I have show you the Polygon Mumbai, but Polygon Mumbai is not working. So I have to reconfigure and change this to Anomaly. Okay, so come back here. I'll go back to my context file and here I have all of these setups. So I can go back to the constants. I'm not going to do anything in here. So like don't need to do anything in here. I'm to go simply back here in the utilities inside the contract and here I have to do the changes. So I show you that how you can configure multiple network. If you deploy your contract to multiple network and allow user to create NFT in different network, all you have to do is to simply configure it. Make sure to watch this video and that I've explained everything that how you can do that. I'm not going to repeat the same thing. So I'm going to simply change this here. It's going to be the same. Instead of this Mumbai, I have to change and I have to change the RPC chain ID as well. So this will become the, I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to simply replicate it. I'll keep it for you guys. So you guys can have a look at what you had earlier. And I'm going to change this to 2 because that's the chain ID we have for Anomaly. And this will become what are, what are the things we have here. So we have this. 
come back here okay make it small because that's the convenient we follow and here we have to change this it's one but anyway these are the changes we have to do now i have to do the changes in the rpc url and i have to do the changes in the scanner so i can do that very easily this is the rpc i can take this one copy and i'm going to simply remove this one and the reason why we have taken this as a form of error because we have multiple provider like you can check for different condition we can use infura you can use acmili that's why we have taken as a form of error so that's the update we have done here that's the one thing we have to keep in mind now here we have to change the explorer as well so here we have the explorer copy this one come back here and here you have to simply remove that explorer and i want to deploy my contract to this so i'm going to simply copy this one and that's what i have to simply pass here so i want to deploy my network to this one so it will automatically trigger so this function will check whether we have this particular network in our metamask or not if we have then it will continue if we don't have it's going to simply configure all of this in our meta if i take you back to the network like if i take you back to the network so you will see that we have done the manual configuration here we have done the manual configuration we have pasted one by one but when the user will interact with our application and they don't have that network in their metamask it will automatically reconfigure so we are taking that body away from our users looks fine that's the first thing we have done we have changed the network now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply close this up and i have to redeploy the contract so if i come back to the contract if i go to this constants and here i have to simply update the addresses so again i would suggest you to follow the complete project make sure to enroll if you haven't enrolled in this you will master every single thing that what we are exactly building or you can simply check all of this project we have built to have a better understanding but if you really want to take your blockchain development career to the next level this is the must include project you need to have now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back here and i'm going to redeploy the contract so we have all of this so this is the one we have this is the old which i have deployed to the polygon so i'm going to simply cop copy this and i'll paste here i'll say new we'll say no not new i'll say a and o i and y okay that's the one i have called and i have to simply replace the addresses so i have to simply open up my terminal and i'm going to stop the application from running and i'm already in this particular directory in this particular one so first thing i have to go into the deploy strip this is a script this is the deploy strip and here we are deploying all the contract you can see we have so many contract we are deploying and this is the exact thing we have to do got it so let's try to deploy the contract so i'm going to simply bring this up, and this is the one which we have to do so i npx i'm going to simply copy this and i'm going to show you what you have to type here so i'll come back here and i'm going to simply paste that here so this is the one which we have to type so instead of mumbai we have to say m1 because this is the network which we are deploying our contract so simply copy this one and paste here and i'm going to simply remove this one and i'm going to simply paste here and hit enter it's going to deploy our contract to this particular network and you can able to find that so it says that like network polygon anomaly does not exist here we have to simply change this to polygon mumbai anomaly once you're done with that now you can able to deploy the contract so let me come here let me paste this now let's try to deploy the contract so i'll come back here uh, this is the deploy script simply hit enter and it's going to deploy our contract one by one so just wait it will take a few minutes to deploy a contract because all together we have seven contract that we have to deploy so this is the very first contract we have deployed now it's going to deploy the nft contract and finally all the contracts have successfully deployed you can see that's all the addresses we have found so all we have to do is to simply copy this entire addresses close this one come back to the context file and i'm going to simply paste here so let me make a uh, a little zoom out so you guys can see what exactly i'm doing here and i'm going to paste the addresses i'm going to simply comment this all and all i have to do is to simply replace the addresses here so this one is for the 2k so i'm going to simply copy this one and i'm going to simply replace here so that's the first chain this is the second for the nft marketplace and here we have the address for the nft marketplace that's the second this is the third one copy and i can come back here in the token sale and paste here that's the third one and here we have the fourth one for the community i'll simply copy uh copy token sale and this one is the community i can paste here once we done with the community we have to do with the transfer fund and i can simply come back here and here we have the transfer fund so that's the and now we have support a donation so i can come back to the donation copy the donation and that's what i have to replace and the last one is going to be our support once you done with all that save it and that's the only thing we have to do so what we have done we have configure our network in the metamask we have configure in the hard hat we are configure in the utility function like here in the contract connection so everything is looking pretty good 
Now you can simply open the terminal and start the application. So I'll type npm run dev. This will start the application on local 3000. Come back here, reload the page, and here it says that we are already connected with a particular application, particular network. So let me show you the magic. So I can come back here and I'm going to remove the network which we have added. So this network is, let's come back here and I want to remove it. To show you the configuration we have done is working absolutely fine. So this is what I have. I'm going to simply reload the page. It's going to trigger this and it will tell me to add this particular network in my MetaMask because this network is not there. So I can simply click on this approve. It will tell me to switch my network to this one because there I have my contract because that's the option we have defined. I can click on the switch network and here I am back to the network where I have my contract. And this is the fun. Looks pretty good. You know the page. Right now, I don't have any contract. So far, things are looking good. Now I can create the NFT. So I can come back here. I can pick an image. I can pick the NFT. This is the one I want to pick. And just wait, this will deploy our NFT to the IPFS. And here we have the details. Now I can call this Polygon Amoy network. You can give the description so I can come back here. I must tell you to check this course. It will teach you a lot of things. Come back here, paste. Uh, I can give the multiple price. So I want to go with very less because I don't have much fun. I can go with the ether price with the native token. Giving you confusion that why we are giving this native token price, then make sure to follow the complete project because in this project, we are allowing users to buy NFT based on our native token and ETH. So make sure to follow the complete project. Now click on this create. It's going to create our NFT and it's going to make the call to our MetaMask. So just wait. It's going to trigger. Here we have the MetaMask. This much fun we are charging for creating the NFT. And here I can simply confirm the transaction. Once the transaction will complete, it's going to redirect us to this particular page and the NFT will reflect here. So it's fetching. I can see that the transaction is in the pending mode. That's why I can see the loading state is there. Once the transaction will complete, the NFT will reflect and we can be able to interact with the application. So the process is very simple. I hope this is making sense and you can implement the same strategy in all the application we have built on our channel in all the application. So finally the transaction is complete and here it's loaded and we are back to our account page. Right now if I go to the listed NFT, you can able to find the NFT. This is the one which we have listed. You can able to have all the details. Set the auction. If you go back to the home page, you will find the NFT is reflecting here. So this is the user who created the NFT. And if I go up, this is the NFT we have. So everything is working fine. I hope you guys have understood that how you have to do the configuration and deploy the contract using the hard hat. And one more thing I want to tell you that you have to use this exact hardware version, node version. So if I go with this node dash V, I'm using this particular version and you have to use it, the exact version if you want to deploy the contract using hardware because right now hardware is compatible with this. If you go with the higher version, hardware will not work. In that scenario, you have to use the Dimix ID for deploying your contract, which I have explained multiple times in this video. So make sure to come back here and watch these videos. In these videos, I have explained all the setup which you have to do. If you want to build this NFT marketplace, make sure to watch the setup video that how you have to do the setup and what are the requirements you need to have. So this is how you can deploy again. This is really powerful and this is how you can get a free faucet to deploy and do the testing. So that's the only thing from my end. I hope you guys have learned something new. If you guys have any question, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. Definitely, I try to help you in that. I was getting a lot of requests from all of you guys regarding this, that how we can deploy our they deploy our contract to this newly blockchain because Polygon is not working. So this is how you can do that. So make sure to come here and check all the projects we have built on the channel. That will teach you a lot of good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that. That will give me a good support. So do let me know in the comment section that what project you want me to build so I can build. So you guys just simply follow that. So with that, I'm ending this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.